Uh, Glenn has really, I mean, it, talking about the, the transformation. Woo! We talked about this on Talking Dead a little bit, that Glenn, Glenn's gone from like, nerd to jock. Like, <laughs> sexy jock with abs. Sexy uh, jock no. with abs. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is Glenn, uh, I was, ah. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, that's how it starts. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you kind of, when, when, Rick, when Rick starts to crack a little bit, and then you, as, an, as a fan, you look around, you go, well, who else could really plausibly lead, lead that group? And then, you know, you might think, well, Glenn might be a good leader, but then he's, because, of, because he has Maggie, he's so emotional. Do you think he's too unstable because of that to be able to lead effectively? Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> excuse my voice. Uh, he's, it's, it's interesting, it's, and it's ironic in that moment where Glenn confronts, uh, Herschel conf confronts Glenn, but then Glenn responds and says, you know, with Rick wandering crazy town and Daryl gone, I'm the next in charge. And he sees that as a viable option, and he says Rick is crazy. But at the same time, Glenn is equally in his rage mode, uh, kind of off. And um, for him to think that it, uh, he's able to lead is completely selfish and ego-driven, uh, absolutely uh, prideful, and uh, that's what's cool about this show is that it's not um, predictable characters behaving in a very like uh, satisfying story arc where it's like, oh yeah, the guy turns from a pizza delivery boy into like Superman. Uh, instead, he's a young man who continues to grow and learn lessons as he goes. Well, and even I, <clears throat> I like I like what you're saying about that he. Um that he kind of does it in a prideful, selfish way, because that's kind of how he deals with the Maggie situation, which is why I think she's just like, I'll tell you what you want to know and leave me alone. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the rift there is, is, you know, you keep telling someone who, who might want to forget about that moment, and you keep telling that person, like, hey, remember when that happened to you? I'm going to take care of you, but remember when that happened to you? Like, you can't take care of yourself. Remember when that happened? And you're just like, what the hell, dude? Chill out. And <laughs> that's coming from a place for Glenn of he thinks that that's how he's supposed to protect. He, think that, he thinks that that's how he's supposed to be a man. But um, he's still young, and uh, that love is still young. And uh, uh, what's great, though, is that a love like that, though, is hard to keep down. So it's pretty cool. I, <clears throat> I, I, think, I, I think I might have said this on our show that I, I think the part of the problem is that you know, guys are kind of stupid, and so when someone that we care about gets hurt, we don't, we're, we're just like, ah! Like, we yeah. get mad, almost at them in a weird sort of way, because we just want to fix it. Do you feel like he just, more than anything, just wants to fix it? Yeah, I mean, like, in his perfect world, what would happen is, you know, the governor would be dead, and he would be happy with Maggie in a field full of uh, food. Um, <laughs> oh, but, boy, like, it could just be... Oh. To just be living with the one you love in a food field somewhere. <laughs> what a, a lot of different things grow, but it's just really awesome. Like steak trees and like oh yeah, delicious steak, steak trees, yeah. and um, candy plants, and yeah, candy plants, fry grass. Like yeah. what a great. I think Glenn's maybe lost it a little bit more. Than I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, turned into I mean, Willy Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> Come with me. It's a it's savory it's a savory Willy Wonka. <laughs> uh, I mean that's what he wants, but you know you can't do it on your own, and you can't do it only thinking of yourself, which he doesn't realize that he's thinking of himself because for him his pride was violated, and his you know what he sees as the person that he cares for and covets or wants and has is 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 kind of in his way, like, tarnished by this other person. And so for him, he's coming at this very uh, uh, selfishly. And uh, I think that's very appropriate for what a 20-something-year-old kid would do. I guess so, but even, I mean, even if I feel like Glenn could somehow make the governor spontaneously explode mm. with the power of his mind, like scanners, I honestly don't, <laughs> please make that happen. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I don't know if that would make him feel any better. Like he, exactly. He would get that, and then be, and, but he'd still have the rage. That's exactly what it is, is this is his growth. And um, that's a great point, which is like, when he gets to that moment, is he going to love it? Is he going to realize that this is what he wanted all the, all the, the whole time? Yeah. And um, uh, it's constantly evolving. It's great.